Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install MySQL Community Server from the MySQL website and install it on Windows. Now I'm using Windows XP, a 32-bit version, but the same holds true for 64-bit and Windows Vista, Windows 7. So everything should translate to other versions of Windows. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my favorite browser and go to dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads. So, right here. I'm going to be brought to this web page and I'm going to go down to MySQL Community Server and click. Okay, I'll scroll down a little bit. And like I said before, I'm using the 32-bit version of Windows XP. So I'm going to download that version. If you're using the 64-bit version of Windows, whether it's Windows Vista, XP, uh, 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 7, etc., you would select this guy. So I'm going to go back to my 32-bit version and download. Now I'm not going to be able to download right away because micro, uh, I'm sorry, um, MySQL um, wants you to log in using uh, uh, an account that you created with them. If you haven't created an account with them, go ahead and click here and then when you're done, come back. If you have your account already set up, put in your, your, e your email address associated with that account that you created, your password, click login, scroll down a little bit on the next page to mirrors in the United States and just pick the first one if you want or whatever one makes you happiest. Save that file. It should only take maybe half a minute or so depending on how fast your connection is. We're already a third of the way through. Okay, so I open this, the downloaded file, click Run, click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement, click Next again, and I'm going to accept the typical installation. Select Install, and it goes pretty quickly. Great, now I'm going to select Next again, Next, finish, next. Now I'm here at the MySQL server instance configuration. I'm going to select the standard configuration. Select next. Now what I recommend that you do is click this checkbox, include bin directory in Windows path. Click next. And now you have to give a password. This is the password you're going to use to access your MySQL database. So create a password, enter it again. Now I recommend that you do not enable root access from remote machines and I recommend that you do not create an anonymous account. So I just select next and then I select execute. Prepare configuration goes quickly, write configuration file goes quickly, and start service goes quickly. Now, my machines actually go pretty slow in this next step, apply security settings. But your machine should proceed to do this relatively quickly and then be done. The reason I'm having a, 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 the reason my machine is taking a long time applying security settings is that I've installed MySQL before, uninstalled it, and I'm reinstalling it again to show you how it's done. When you do that, in other words, when you uninstall and then reinstall, um, the the application of security settings fails. This won't happen for you though when you do it the first time. Yep. Sure does take a while. So you can even see it says here, if you are reinstalling after you just uninstalled the MySQL server, please note that the data directory was not removed automatically, yada, 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 therefore, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'm going to cancel this. 
Now, uh, click start, and I notice that I now have my MySQL 5.5 command line client uh, here under my start menu, and it's also going to be under all programs, under MySQL, MySQL server, MySQL command line client. I can select this. A command prompt is going to open up. It's going to ask me for my MySQL password. And voila, I am now in my MySQL server. So, uh, let me exit. So, I've installed, I've downloaded, I've installed MySQL server on Windows XP. It, it should work the same for Windows Vista, Windows 7. Uh, and that's how you do it. All right, thanks a lot.